Hi everyone, my name is Professor Monique Selden Riley and I'll be your instructor for general psychology this semester. The course code is SSI 122D1. This is gonna be an online class. So I wanna take a sec and go over your course syllabus. I have it here. Um, you guys can look at it on your end um, and I'll just review some of the, the major um, things that I wanted to highlight. Um, you guys can go in depth um, on your own. And if you have any questions, just, you know, just reach out. So as I mentioned, my name is Monique and, um, I have my email here. I have my Google cell here. Um, I'm available to, to meet, um, on teams, on zoom, um, on the telephone, whatever kind of platform, I'm pretty flexible. Just let me know and which is the best way to meet with you. Um, what I will say about my Google cell is that, um, I am available Monday through Friday, nine to five. And um, so if you're gonna call me, if you're gonna text me, um, just make sure that you're using th that time to do that. Now, if you have an issue outside of that, I would say the email is a better way to reach me. Like if something pops in your head at two o'clock in the morning or whatever, just email me, it's fine. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, um, in terms of my official office hours, as I mentioned before, I'm pretty much, like if I'm available, I'm not gonna say, no, I'm not meeting with you, right? We can schedule something, um, whatever. As long as it's Monday through Friday, nine to five, I'm willing to work around it, okay? Um, but my official office hours are Mondays and Wednesdays, and there are two sets. So first is from 9 a.m. or 9.15 a.m. to 10.15 a.m., and the other one is gonna be from 11.50 to 1.20, okay? And in this class, we'll be kind of just going over major themes associated with like psychology, different theories, different um, schools of thought, um, talking about different aspects of psychology. And there is no textbook for our class. So no required textbook. I don't believe in spending unnecessary money. Let's save some money. Um, I'll be providing you with all course materials. However, um, what I will say is that please refrain from using the internet. The internet often has um, information out there that conflicts with our course materials and then it messes up like with grading and stuff like that. So, um, and even like some of our course materials says some wild things. So we're gonna dissect that as a unit, right? Um, what else? Let me see. So the way I'll be teaching is through like online lectures like YouTube and things like that. Um, different discussion boards, what we have quizzes, uh, written assignments, things like that. Um, and when you finish this class, you should be able to talk about what psychology is, talk about the different themes and theories associated with like psychology and human behavior, even like looking at like the different influences um, on human behavior and psychology. And you should be able to look at it and, and talk about it from a prof professional standpoint, as well as like a research-based standpoint, like what happens in the field of psychology? What does that mean, right? And in terms of your abilities, you'll also be able to write um, and present in a, an official APA style paper. Now, I have done like a little twist on the that paper um, thing and we're gonna, instead of writing the actual paper, which is gonna cause additional stress, I try and run a no stress environment, um, we are going to implement those APA um, 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 things like the, the tenants into our course. And I'll talk about that in a little while. In terms of your code of conduct, you guys can go over that on your own, but essentially for my classes, I always have two major rules, and this is what they are. I want you to be nice and I want you to not cheat. So that's pretty much it. Like just be respectful of one another, understand that we all come from different places and we have different experiences. And then just like, if it's okay to disagree with somebody, you can understand that, that's fine. But there's how you say things. So there's like what you say and how you say it, right? And, and the difference can make a world of difference. So just be mindful of that. Um, another thing I wanna really highlight with you guys is that not cheating portion. Um, hopefully that APA stuff will, will help us to like um, decrease on like plagiarism and understanding how to navigate that. But then there's also deliberate cheating that I'm just gonna ask. Please, please don't cheat. Don't copy stuff you found on the internet or whatever, right? Um, and I do do random little checks as well to make sure that students are not cheating. So please keep that in mind. In terms of um, students who feel like they need additional help or things like that, I strongly suggest reaching out to me first. And this is why I'm the teacher. I write the, the rubrics and things like that. So I kind of know what I'm expecting. Um, but 
if for some reason you're like, oh my goodness, Monique, she's ugly or she's, I, I don't like her voice or I can't meet up with her. Her teaching style is wild or just, I, I'm not understanding what she's saying. It's okay, you can reach out to RCC's tutors. Um, they're really great, they'll help you navigate whatever issue you're having. Um, and instructions for that are in the syllabus as well. And if you have a disability or if you feel like you might have a disability, um, you can always contact our Student Accessibility Services Office. They're really, really good on working with students on like accommodations and things like that. They're really good. So just um, keep that in mind. And how to access that is also in your syllabus as well. Um, it's an online course. I'm not going to require attendance. But what I will say is that you should be checking your your stuff regularly and when i say stuff what do i'm talking about I'm talking about your emails your announcements page your um remind app right all those things the coursework page you need to be checking it regularly because if i update something or if i decide like hey hmm maybe i shouldn't put this in place or maybe i should drop this quiz grade or whatever you want to be you want to know right and immediately so you should be doing that like probably i would guess around like three times a week you know stay active um i'm not gonna harass you guys so there's that. Um, and also, I suggest students sign up for a RAVE, which is the college's emergency notification program. It's really good. They don't harass you. They're not sending you a bunch of texts and calls and this and that. But when something goes down, they will notify you and you'll know like, okay, I need to stay away from this building or I need to, um, you know, just it's really just great, um, a great resource. So in terms of the way we'll be meeting, like I said, this is an online course, but we will be meeting asynchronously, which means that I will provide the shell of all the work and everything online. You guys will then do the work. Um, there are due dates that are due and they're not um, flexible, um, but you guys will do the, the work on your own, okay? Um, I'm available if you need to help, whatever, just contact me. I, my thing is I pride myself on really getting to back to students in a timely manner. So I usually give myself a 24-hour turnaround time. Um, but if I do not get back to you in 24 hours, send another email. Hey, Monique, just a follow-up. What's up? Right? Because it might have been a mistake. So just please um, give me 24 hours to respond. And then if I don't, that's when you can please like, you know, hey, Monique, what's up? Um, what I can say too is that a lot of times I'm noticing that students struggle with professionalism and that gets in the way of their success. Um, not to say that they're not smart enough or not to say that they're not, um, that they don't have the skills, but there are certain professionalism skills that I really want to emphasize with my students in order to make it so that you guys can navigate the world after you leave this class, after you leave the school, just, you know, you, you have the skills where it's like, all right, I know I need to do such and such and blah, blah, blah. So with that being said, there are some things that I'm going to require of students and I have created a student etiquette um, or, or uh, student etiquette form. There's a classroom policies form which you'll be quizzed on for extra credit. Um, so please go over that. There's also a video for that too. So that, that'll be good for you guys. Um, and then in my class, in the subject line of your email, I would like students to just write the class that they're in because it is so stressful when you have like 150 students and they're like, hey, my name's Joe and I was wondering about psychology and it's like, what psychology class? I'm teaching like four sections of that class, what's up, right? So if you just write out in your in your um, little subject line before you write your email like SSI 122D1, I know where to look for your information, right? Um, so those are just some of the things that I'm, I'm highlighting. In terms of the way that your, your grade's gonna be broken down this semester, it's gonna be 50% quizzes and 50% discussion posts and responses. Now, with that being said, I will gladly accept late discussion posts and responses, but I'm gonna be knocking off 10 points per day. And I'll only accept them up to a week late. So with that being said, um, if you turn something into me three days late, you're gonna have, and you, let's say it was worth 100%, great. Now, all of a sudden, it's a, a, a 70 because I had to knock off those 10% each day. So that's 30 off your grade automatically. You just went from an A to a C. Yikes, right? So turn your stuff in on, on, on time. Um, it makes a world of difference. Um, also, I'm not accepting anything outside of that. If you do, like, say the, the planets collide or whatever, and you, need, you know you're going to need an extension, just let me know in advance. Once the due date is passed, I cannot do anything for you. So please let me know in advance. 
also when those discussions are due i'll put up a, a discussion and and rubric um all that stuff um but discussion posts are due when i ask you the questions they're due on wednesdays at 11 30 p.m okay i expect you to respond to at least one other student one other classmate on saturday by 11 30 p.m all right so keep those dates in mind if you need to put it in your calendar do what you have to do quizzes are also due on a saturdays at 11 30 p.m you have two attempts to take each quiz and i take an average of the um the quiz grades okay so the quizzes are set up as 10 multiple choice questions there is extra credit on every single quiz um and I mean, I implement a lot of the APA stuff in there just so that we're, we're learning that material rather than writing out a paper on it. Um, we're actually learning and embedding that material within us. So um, I'm comfortable with students moving ahead of schedule. I just want you guys to stay on, on schedule. So don't skip meetings. I mean, don't skip, um, don't skip assignments. Just keep going. Um, also, when going into your actual tentative coursework, as I mentioned, every week we have a discussion post and response as well as a quiz due. Um, but there's some extra credit things that I kind of weaved in there as well. So there's the introductory post where you just tell me who you are, tell me what you want to get out of the class. Um, you can share your pronouns. You can share what you like to enjoy in your hobbies. Share whatever you feel comfortable, okay? Um, also, there's some extra credit, um, a syllabus quiz in a My RCC quiz, so that you'll be quizzed on the things that I've talked about in this video, as well as your course policy. Um, and also, there's the Remind app. So I want you to um, put, download this app, or at least sign up for the text messages. I'm not gonna harass you guys. I just need to be able to communicate with you guys effectively, and I feel like text is kind of the best way. There's also a self-care day. Now, with self-care, I'm gonna... Um, let you guys know, um, we're, it's a very stressful time and people are all stressed out and up in arms. So with that being said, um, self-care is our ability to take care of ourselves outside of um, the demands of life, right? So something that's special just for you, something you enjoy doing, a way to let loose. So if that's reading for fun, read for fun. If that's take a bubble bath, take a bubble bath. If that's go for a hike, go for a hike. But this has nothing to do with school. It has nothing to do with work. It has nothing to do with your kids. It's just something that's good for you. Or like what I like to do is I like to paint, right? So something that's good for me, it's an escape. Um, with that being said, that week I will cancel class in order to Eliminate some of our stressors. As I said before, no stress in, or low stress environment. And um, I want you to put a post up just telling me what you did. Usually it's around two sentences. Hey, I went for a walk and it was enjoyable. Cool. And then I just want you to respond to another classmate. Okay. Um, I found that these have been very effective in the past in creating community amongst the students. Um, and there's also an extra credit paper. It's a little longer and it's worth way more. It's worth to, up to an additional 10% of your grade. Um, but I do want to encourage students to complete that. Um, like I said, it's worth a, a huge chunk. So if you have a B in the class, you can get an A, right? Um, so let me know if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with each and every one of you guys. And with that being said... Let's do the semester right. Bye, guys.